Hello, my name is Hector and this is Super Meat Boy. Yes, we are back once again with another episode. This is chapter 4, Hell. I'm not looking forward to this. Hell sounds bad, but let's let's get into it. Let's see how we do. So we have a face off. Face off, face off. Running. The sound effects are great in this game. I really do like them. I mean, there's a lot to like about this game. There's a lot to dislike as well. Mainly how infuriating it is. Ooh, punch. Was that a kick in the face? Yes. Yes, it was kicking the face. <laughs> and, and that's, I'm guessing, how we end up in hell. Great. Okay, so, lots of levels. Let's, let's just do it. Okay, so a bit of a disclaimer at this point. Uh, I messed up the audio, and I managed to record most of this episode whilst my microphone was muted. So... I'm doing this commentary in the post, uh, so this is not live. But as you can tell, I've already started messing up. Uh, I'm, I've gone into super fast mode, so that can only mean lots and lots of death. Ah, and now I've stopped, which can only mean that I, I do decently at this run. So now I'm doing this in the post. I can actually ask you for once without forgetting or anything else. How are you? How are you today uh, when this video is released and, well, when I'm, I'm recording the audio at least, it is a Monday, so how was your weekend? Was it good? Did you have a good time? I did. Had a very good weekend this weekend. It's a nice little jump there. And I think I'm, I'm really careful. This, oh, this, this hell dimension is, it's mean. It's mean. It's at the end of the episode, there's one of the hardest levels that I've done so far. But there you go. That wasn't too bad a level. And instantly, I mess up on the next one. Uh, it's rare that you do a, a Super Meat Boy level without messing up the first time. Well, for me anyway. I find I, I very much uh, mess up the first, what, at least ten times? And there it is. There it is. And I've gone into super fast mode. Super fast man. Oh yes. Lots of death in a very quick space of time. Although, I've got to say, I do think I am getting better at this game. I really do. Um, yeah, I, I, I really think I, I am improving, which is great. Which is actually great. Got so close then. Got so close. And here we are back at the not speeded up bit, which means, can only mean, that I'm not sucking at this point, which is great. Very good. Very good. I've got to say, the, the one good thing about the game design, it really does suck you into wanting to do it again and again. It's very clever like that. Oh, this one. Yes, I remember. Ha! <laughs> I remember the horrors, the horrors. So, with this episode, I really wasn't sure whether to just record the episode again uh, and start from scratch and do the commentary live or do what I ultimately chose to do and do a post commentary. Um, and the reason I opted for post, it wasn't just because I really didn't want to do the last level that I, I'm doing in this episode again, which we will get to, you will see. Um, but it's more that I kind of wanted to play the game, all these levels for the first time, um, and, and keep that keep that part of of the the series going. That was more important to me um, in in the video than just live commentary. 
So from next episode, uh, we will go back. We will go back to live commentary. Um, I think uh, unless you guys really love it, but that's I think yeah we're going back to live commentary. Oh, and here we are. Um, I think it is better, even though it's really hard to um, commentate uh, whilst playing this game, just because I'm not very good at it. Oh, and I almost mess up there. But we do do it. Ah, yes, this one. This one doesn't seem that bad, but it kind of is. In instant death there. And I've instantly gone into a speedy up bit. Which generally means that it, it took me quite a while. Little break there, I think. back to normal time thank the heavens for that that was that was a fair bit but it pales into insignificance for the doom level that we are going to face in about i think two levels time um that was bad that was that was quite good oh look at that a bit of a bit of skill there just keepy uppy that was not bad i'm, I'm retrospectively impressed with myself there which is nice nice uh, yes, a, a a very timing based level, um, which makes sense. And I think I said I remember saying actually this this level felt like one of those uh, kind of tutorial levels just for a few new mechanics to get you used to. And I think that was quite quite correct um, because the uh, the Doom level that this episode is building towards is uh, is very much time based and you've got to be very kind of. Oh, I meant, yeah, look at this. Bam. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Oh, I was so close then. So close. So close. I do, yeah, I, I think I've already said this, but I, I do think I am getting that little bit better at this game. That little bit better. Uh, last weekend, I I, um, I spent some time looking at other other Super Meat Boy Let's Plays, and uh, especially from some that you know were worse than me, which was uh, just a nice little confidence boost. At least I've gotten this far so far, which is I think something. Oh, on this level, I do do something quite cool that I'm I'm happy with. Uh, I kind of impress myself again at the time, and I think I'll, I'll be again retrospectively impressed. And it's just that little thing of, again, that getting better. Just, you know, sussing it out a bit more. Here we are. Look at that. That's straight in before that fireball comes up. And this is the one. This is the one. All of a sudden, I, I realised. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That was nice. That was nice. Very good, very good. Yeah, again, just that little, that little bit better, which is nice. 
it's nice to kind of realise that you are getting a little bit better at least. And so we come to the utter doom level. Good start, straight in there, <laughs> with multiple deaths. That's how you want to get going. So this is, yes, like I said, a very time-based level. The saws coming down, there was lots of panic. But as you can tell, I kind of, the first set of saws, I, I quickly kind of got the hang of that. Uh, they weren't too bad. They weren't too bad at all. And so here begins the speedy up bit. My problem on this level, and oh, I, I very, very nearly rage quit on this, which is why I was so gutted that my audio didn't record. And another reason why I didn't want to just do it again, just because I just, the amount of time it took me to do this level was stupendous, stupendous. But again, this is the, the kind of utter brilliance of the level design and the, the game design. I think in general is that it just, it just gave you enough. It just gives you enough that you, you have a glimmer of hope. You have that glimmer of hope that you just want to go, yeah, I can do this. I, I figured it out. And my problem was that even though the blades on the left are exactly at the same times as the right ones, I could not do the right blade to save my life. I just, I could not. And I, I couldn't figure out why. And I still don't really know why. Uh, I just could not do them. I just could not do them. Which was, you know, uh, a utter bane of my life. And this why I had to stop after this level. Um, which I suppose is a, a mild spoiler, as you, you might have gathered from that, that I, I do indeed succeed. But it, it takes me uh, quite quite a bit of time. Quite a bit of time. so much death but again as you can see I've just got a bit better here because at least I am getting to the right hand side now that middle blade on the right hand side is covered in blood <laughs> the far right one isn't and won't be until the end um, yes until the end sad state of affairs all the while bandage girl is just at the other side just kind of just there, waiting for me to get there, and then be kidnapped. Seems so futile. I am, I am actually really enjoying this game, and I'm glad I'm doing it. I'm glad I'm actually progressing. I was quite worried that I was just going to have to give up the series at some point before I started, just because I thought I never, I'm never going to actually do this. But I kind of feel like I could now. I kind of feel like I could actually do this, which is amazing. That's great. So there's a couple of other games in this kind of vein that I would like to try at some point and just try and finish. Uh, I have started my um, my Let's Play of The Last Vikings. Um, that's another one, another game that I've never really finished, although I I did all right at that. Like, it, it, it wasn't as hard a game. I think it was just the patience that was lacking, but I think being able to get through this, I can definitely finish Lost Vikings, I, I'm pretty certain. So I'm just going to leave this last bit uh, and I'll put some uh, some of my my time lapse music on. Which, in case you are wondering, uh, I I wrote myself. It's just me on my guitar. It's nothing nothing special, but it is called bass lapse. So here it is. <laughs> Thank you. 
And here we are at the the final hurdle, the final frontier. It is upon us. And I, whilst playing this level, I was really not sure if it was ever going to come. But let's just have a moment of silence for this run. And I almost messed it up there. And look at this. I was so nervous on that last jump. But there it is. Level complete. That is definitely the hardest level of Super Meat Boy so far. At least for me. And look at all those ones. And I don't know why there's just the Super Meat Boy on the left. Just at the start. Just, just there for ages. Uh, but yeah. Look at the amount of death and carnage on this level. And there. The one that actually won. So thank you very much for joining me on this episode of Super Meat Boy. Again, once again, apologies for the audio. That was my my bad. Uh, I won't do that again. Learn from my mistakes. But thank you very much. And I hope you will join me next time. Bye-bye.